like I'm not super tired I've been getting a lot more sleep lately um but like emotionally I'm just like I'm, I'm losing myself because I'm working too much I'm working too too much all right oh my god I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm seeing, I'm seeing all my imperfections oh god you know what I'm not even going to upset I'm not even going to obsess. I was going to start I want to eat first but I have to like comb my hair before I eat because then I'm eating my hair right and by the way like this wig I'm not loving it anymore this is the um Scheidel that I talked about a couple a couple days ago or a week ago or something like that and it's proving to be not the best quality hair I'm not this video is not about that anyway though okay so yeah so I got myself some sushi you guys want to see like my little setup because this is like me time this is me time so before I started like working almost every day like now I work four days a week instead of three days a week outside of the house like normally I work um, three days a week out the house and um, oh I'm dropping that everywhere and the rest of the time uh, whatever work I need to be I need to do I can basically just get done here you go this is <laughs> can you see that delicious meal all right that's my sushi the rest of the work I can just get done from home on my company computer but now I have to actually go in the office more so I don't get any more free time. I don't get much me time, much free time. Yesterday, I didn't go into the office. That was Tuesday. So I ended up ugh, doing so much work. I had to clean the house. You know what I did though? I actually got myself, I'm not even gonna like lie. I had some help with the cleaning. I had help with the cleaning. I actually paid somebody to come in and help me clean. So I took care of like the dishes and stuff like that. But she, I had someone come in the house and like take care of the dusting and the deep cleaning and clean the three black three bathrooms for me because ever since I came back from my trip to Mexico um, like when I came back the house was in such disrepair the kids like wrecked the house so I'm looking at these bathrooms like the last thing I want to do now is clean three bathrooms so I'm very, very happy that I had someone come in the house and take care of that for me. Anyway, enough said about that. So um, guys, if you would like to join me in my meal, I am having a um, salmon hand roll. What's in this? There's salmon in here. There's salmon. Yellowtail and crab and then lots of um caviar and then i get extra salmon because i like extra salmon so i'm going to squeeze some of that lemon on it mm. yum 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 and i also got spicy mayo because like for some reason i'm in love with spicy mayo i'm sure it's very fattening i don't care I'm not a huge eater, so I feel like when I do eat, it's a big deal. <laughs> the meal itself, like, look, this is the size of my meal. I don't know what you guys eat. I know a lot of people out there, like, eat salads <laughs> for dinner. Like, that just doesn't do it for me. If I have a salad, I have to have a bunch of meat in it, so it just becomes basically just a big protein dish anyway, so. <laughs> mm. And then, I'm having a um, margarita, a homemade margarita with Milagros, Milagros tequila. And I also put some Rain Neveu, that Jamaican rum. And um, some Welch's What do you call it again? Like, oh my god, I'm drawing all kinds of blank blanks. Welch's passion fruit mix. And that's it. I salted my rim and mmm, delicious. 
anyway you guys i don't know if i told you when i think i did about my um how my surgery worked out and it worked out great by the way it worked out great oh i wish i could keep my camera like this because then you could see my food and you could also see me <laughs> you can't have everything you want in this world can you damn it nothing's perfect ever but anyway so yeah i had the surgery the dnc it's called a dilation and curatage of my uterus and the reason why I needed to get that was because I had been suffering from like unusually long periods and when I say unusually long I mean like I was bleeding all month long <laughs> is that like raw food conversation probably not but it doesn't gross me out so hopefully it doesn't gross you guys out um yeah so is this even right I did this wrong too So ever since I had that surgery, I am back to normal. Like I haven't been normal probably for like five, six years. So I forgot it, what it was like to not have to wear a pad. I forgot what it was like to be able to go a whole full week without having to say, ah, oh, gotta throw these panties away. <laughs> but now, but now I'm good now. So thank you guys for your prayers. If you were praying for me, I appreciate it. really good <clears throat> spicy oh, it's the ginger okay I want to tell you about that also um oh let me show you about this this candle that I'm burning like it's old. Like I have the, I've had this cam this candle for a while. It has sat at many dinners with me. And it's like down to its last. So I have to buy some new ones. But it's by Woodwick. And I believe it's Woodwick is a Yankee candle. A Yankee candle com um company. And they make this really, really nice candle. It smells amazing, first of all. It's like, um, what's, what's the flavor? Pumpkin butter? Yeah, pumpkin butter. And if you'll notice, it emulates the sound of a fireplace. So it's like really nice. It helps me relax in the evenings. If I just like zone out, light a candle, have a drink have a nice dinner so you guys are like joining me for that and I totally appreciate having you around what else what else do we need to talk about um I've been lifting weights soy sauce I've been lifting weights um something I've never really gotten into but let me tell you I am inspired by Angela Bassett have you guys do you guys know who Angela Bassett is anyway she's an actress if you don't know who she is I've been watching her for years um I remember the first time I saw Angela Bassett she was in that movie Boys in the Hood she pay, played Trey's mom. And that was like, I don't even know what year that was. It must have been 1992 or something like that. But she's been in so many movies ever since then. And every year she looks better than she did the year before. I don't know how she does that. She's like reversing time. Oh, shoot. Look at that. <laughs> she's like reversing time. And supposedly she does that by weightlifting. I'm sure diet has a lot to do with it too. I'm not really ready to change my diet. I like the way I eat. I don't think I eat like crazy. So I don't really want to change my diet too much, except I wish I didn't have that 
crazy craving for chips every single day. <laughs> I have to have one of those small little like 150 calorie bags of chips each and every day. And if I don't, then I'm like craving it like crazy. It's bugged out. I feel like if I could just get that out of the way, I'd be good. But otherwise, I think I'm a good eater. You know what I mean? I eat vegetables in every meal. I have like I'm, I'm like a good eater. Trust me. Anyway, there's that. Um, yeah, I told you I just came back from Mexico. Had the time of my life. <clears throat> Honestly, the time of my life. A friend of mine, a couple, who my husband and I met while vacationing in Jamaica, invited us to celebrate their, um, the husband's 40th birthday. And let me tell you, he held nothing back, okay? I'm trying to insert some clips or some photos from the trip, but let me tell you, he rented a yacht, rented jet skis that came to us while we were in the middle of the ocean on the yacht um we had like unlimited lobster i don't know like some it, it just the, the lobster never stopped coming and in fact when we did run out of lobster once somehow there were some fishermen a family of fishermen which it consisted it was really weird like a consisted of a man his wife and his baby son and his baby son has to be like no more than nine years old and the three of them were fishing in the middle of the ocean for lobster i don't know but they just came out of nowhere and like sold us three more lobsters <laughs> and we just kept eating lobster shrimp jamming to music like having the time of our lives like you would literally think we were like oh my god hair got into my glass that's something I'm used to, by the way. My like hair getting in my shit because that's another thing. Like this, this wig sheds a lot. It's not exactly what I thought it was. It's not what I thought it was. So if if I told you guys in a video that you should go to a certain vendor, and I'm sure I didn't, I didn't. Please, please don't go to this vendor because you're gonna spend five hundred dollars and you're gonna get this. Whatever. I'm gonna get like. I'm, gonna, I'm going to try to get like three or four more wears out of this at least. And then like if I, if I have to shelf it, I will because I'm not going to walk around with hair that looks crappy. It's just not going to make me feel good. I don't care. I'm not going to punish myself like that. I used to punish myself like, you know, looking at it now, I might actually not even wear it tomorrow. <laughs> if it wasn't like attached to my head, I probably, I, I wouldn't even second guess it but since i already installed it i'm just like whatever i'll wear it until the end of the week anyway i'll show you guys what i did to my bag this is a snake print bag that i picked up from What's the name of that store? It's like a, oh my God, I forgot. But it's not even real leather. It's not even real leather. And when I picked it up, I was like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I really like it. There's something, something special about this bag. It was super cheap. It was only like 20 bucks, but it was like missing something. So I didn't want to really carry it. So one day I was on, look at this. I was on, um, Amazon looking for brooches and I saw this bumblebee one and I was like oh my god this is the brooch that is gonna make this bag everything and I feel like it did just that like it's perfect like the perfect bag I love it to death so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that also by now you probably noticed that my nails look crappy so don't worry <laughs> I will be up applying another set of these 
faux nail they're the exact same ones so what I normally do is when I like a nail set I'll pick up like three of them and I'll wear <laughs> three three boxes of these faux nails for five dollars last me like a month and a half so for a month and a half I'll have the same nails and and if for some reason one of these nails pops off um, I could just replace it really quickly so I got these actually from five below these are fantastic press on nails by the way awesome press on I totally recommend them I look at that and they're only five bucks Ella. I was mentioning that I have been working out, which is funny because, I mean, I'm um, lifting weights. And what I really would like is a personal trainer, but here's the catch. I don't want to go to the gym. I hate going to the gym. I work out in my basement. This is my basement, by the way. You guys want to see where I work out at? I'll take you. And excuse the mess. If it's messy, just pardon that. Don't look at the messy part. I do have kids. I told you guys that, right? Okay, so this is where I work out at. Here's my gym. I have a treadmill. I have a spin bike I got my mirror and then all my weights I can I put you guys here probably can't even put you anywhere 